Money moves all hardworking adults need to make this year. Let's get into it. Keep in mind, as I go through these, some of them are going to be things that you can apply right now, and some of these things are only advisable if you're in a position financially to do so. With that said, we're going to jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, I'm Reggie Bryant. I'm the author of The Wealth Journey, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So the first thing I think that every hardworking adult should do, if you haven't done it already, is set up and automation on your savings account is super easy to do. I have a video giving a full tutorial on how to do it and how to track it and all that good stuff. You can check it out up here. But it's extremely important that you do it because we think about a lot of things and there is a such thing as decision fatigue. And the last thing you wanna do is work hard all month, paying bills, putting in that good work, and then you're like, oh, I got my savings. I forgot about my savings. I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna do 400 this month. Cool. And then you mainly do it. That's a whole other step that takes time. If you set up automations, your bank account will do that for you. So if you can find like a minimum number of how much you would like to save every single month, set up the automation. You can set up the date, the amount of money, where it's going, all of that stuff. It's extremely cool, and I'm very glad that I've done it myself because I would always do things manually. And I would either miss out on how much money I could be putting in my savings every month, or I would literally just straight up forget to do it altogether. So stuff like that can set you back. That is the number one thing that I would say every hardworking adult should do this year. And by this year, I mean today. The second money move you should make is click the link in the description or the comment section. I put it in both places so you can get free weekly financial advice directly from me straight into your email inbox. While that is a shameless plug, that is a legit money move because I give you steps with each week and I don't overwhelm you with information. I'm just like, here, this week we have this, this week we have this, it's every single week, once a week. Sometimes I might throw a few follow-up emails in there too, but for the most part, you're just gonna see once a week. It's gonna be very simple, easily digestible information, and it's gonna be in English. I'm not gonna use any confusing or crazy terms, sounding all educated and smart for no reason like i just think that this should be a language that everybody understands personal finance should be something that everybody understands and knows what to do with and they're not confused when they read an email that's not how it should be so i think it would be nothing but beneficial for you to click the link below and you know it's free so why not free advice that puts money in your pockets that's how i market it so that's what it is it's free advice that puts extra money into your pocket moving on if you have a full-time job and you've got a 401k with them increase the amount that you're contributing from every single paycheck by at least 1% and see what it does for your future. If you can do more than 1%, by all means do more than 1%, but that is one place where you can actually save money on taxes, at least going into the account, and two, you can build more wealth in the future because of it. And, the, and a big reason I said that is there's been a lot of opportunity in the years of 2020, 2022, and at the beginning of this year, there's been a ton of opportunity in the stock market because the stock market has been so low lately. Like everything has been down compared to where it was in like 2021. And so by putting more of your money into a stock market where everything is basically still on discount, you can then increase the amount of money that you can grow. Not Because now you can buy a lot more for your investment portfolio, your 401k, for a lot less. Even though the entire stock market is down right now, my 401k is up. It is looking gorgeous right now, let me tell you. So that's just something I would say. That's That would be a really cool money move to make. I understand if you can't do that right now, but that's something that I would definitely say, push yourself to do and see if you can do it. Like, even if you can just do 1% more than you're already doing, I'm telling you that can have big benefits. The next thing I would advise you to do is along the same lines, except I'm not telling you how much you should put in this one, although there is a max on this one. Open up a Roth IRA if you haven't already. Let me tell you something. Roth IRAs are absolutely phenomenal in that you can pick whatever you want. You can either pick stocks, you can pick bonds, you can pick you can pick ETFs, index funds. You can you can choose a plethora of options within the world of your Roth IRA. And you're not limited like you are with your 401k. And yes, your money will be taxed before you're able to put it into your Roth IRA. But once you take it out when you retire, 
it ain't getting taxed at all. So it's good to have both of them. And so that's the money move I would definitely recommend any hardworking adult to make this year. And I actually have an entire video on Roth IRA. So if you want to check that out, check that out up here. It's going to help you out a lot. And it's going to have a bunch of good information. Also, there's a link in the description that actually has an article about Roth IRAs and what they are and how they can benefit you. So check that out as well. This is a money move we all need to make. I don't care what anybody says. This is something that is not arguable. This is not something that is negotiable. This is a must. Build a fat emergency fund for yourself. And here's what I mean by that. I want to challenge you all. And I'll be in on this challenge too. Look, man, I'm all for it. I'm going to be in this challenge too. Because the thing about me is when there's a challenge involved, I'm going to win. I'm going to overdo the challenge. That's how I look at it. So if you like challenges, you're going to appreciate this part of the video. I challenge you to build your emergency fund up to a point where you have at least at the bare minimum, by the end of the year, bare minimum, you want to have three months worth of paycheck saved in your emergency fund by the end of this year. And before you tell me you can't do it, before you tell me it's out of the question, it's not possible, just do this for me. Figure out how much you make per month after taxes. So literally just open up your bank account and look at the last few paychecks you got and add the paychecks together from last month and then multiply that by three. You will then have a number that is not just a number. Now it has more value behind it because now this isn't just a number on a screen. This is a goal that you must reach by the end of the year because that's how I approach challenges. When I see a challenge, I'm like, okay, I'm challenging myself to hit this number by the end of the year. That means I must hit it. There's no other way. And as a matter of fact, I might add a few to that number so I can strive for higher because why not? That's what challenges are all about. And I think that's what this year is all about, constantly challenging ourselves to become better as people, as professionals, as money makers, as family members, as siblings, as whatever you are. We want to continuously become better, and that's the only way to do it, continuously challenge yourself. So the next money move that I actually want to talk about is something that a lot of people would find inadvisable, so to speak, but... I think it's kind of crazy that it is. And I think that's why a lot of people remain stuck where they are, even though they really want to get past that hump, so to speak. I'm going to say this. Invest in at least one thing that you think will benefit your life. Yes, there's no guarantees. Yes, you could potentially waste money. But invest in at least one thing. It, that one thing could be a book. It could be an online course. It could be a college course, a community college course. It could be a certification. It can be something along those lines that gives you knowledge on something that improves your life. And it doesn't necessarily have to be financial. Think outside of the box. It could be something that benefits your life. But this is a money move. A money move because it requires money to do because it can benefit your life. Let me give you an example. A couple years ago, actually more than a couple years ago, back in 2019, I bought myself a meditation course. It was like... At the time, I think it was like $250 or so. And I still use it to this day, and it keeps me very peaceful. And I'm able to make razor sharp decisions quickly. I'm on my feet all the time. I have a higher emotional intelligence. I'm able to really look within myself. And I'm not saying that to be corny, I'm dead serious. Like, I'm able to look within myself, see what's going on in my head and what is on my mind all the time. And then I'm constantly coming up with solutions to either fix things or improve things because I'm always working on myself. So that's just an example, but it doesn't have to just be one thing this year. It could be multiple things. Like literally every month I invest my money into something, whether it's stocks, that's going to definitely improve my life because I know how to choose which stocks at which prices to then give me the most value in the future because I'm in the long game. But before I was doing that, I was spending money on books to learn about stocks. Before I made this YouTube channel and grew it to over 11,000 subscribers, I was buying courses on how to grow a YouTube channel. And last year when I was writing my book, I spent money to hire an editor to help me edit the book because it was a lot to look at myself and I, I went through it like five different times, but then I sent it to her once and she sent it back with a bunch of corrections, you hear me? So. You can't see everything by yourself. And that, that added value to my book. And my customers so far have been highly, highly satisfied. 
just going to say that. So what is your one thing this year that you would want to invest in to improve your life? And in which way would it improve your life? Would it improve it in terms of your health, your finances, your relationships, your emotional intelligence, your physique? What, what, what's it going to be this year? But choose something, even if it's one thing. I'm not putting a price tag on it. You got to do that for yourself. But figure out what that one thing is. And I promise you, your quality of life is inevitably going to improve. That is one of the most slept on things you could possibly do. We are so skeptical. I used to be skeptical myself about buying like $40 books, $20 books that could then give me thousands of dollars a month worth of knowledge if I just took the time to read them. I used to be skeptical to buy online courses that by now have made me multiple thousands of dollars just on this platform from AdSense revenue. And it's only going to keep increasing because I keep learning. But we are so skeptical about buying into these things at first. But we don't think twice before we buy $200, $300 pair of shoes. And to justify our action, we say, well, I, I, I earned this money. I'm a hardworking adult. What you mean? Yeah, I bought my $300 shoes. I dare somebody to say something about it. And there's nothing wrong with that thought process. But you need to have that same energy when it comes to investing because the only thing that's going to bring more money into your life that you spend money on is things that you invest in. Knowledge is an asset. Peace of mind is an asset. Stocks, bonds are assets. Shoes and clothes depreciate. Therefore, they are liabilities. I say all of that because I don't want anyone to say that they can't do something like invest in one thing that would improve their lives because it could be anything. It could be inexpensive. It could be expensive. But I'm also going to say do your research and manage your expectations before buying the one thing that you expect to improve your life. And that way you won't be set up for disappointment. And even if it doesn't turn out the way you think it will, at least you will have come out with it learning something. But when you do this, you have to have a little bit of self-belief. Because even if you buy the best course in the world, the best book in the world, or the best program in the world, whatever you're doing, whether it's like physical training where you're conditioning yourself to build muscle and get in shape, whether you're getting into some finance, things where you want to improve your finances, whether you want to have a better diet, cleaner nutrition, things like that, you have to manage your expectations and you have to go into it knowing that you are going to come out on top and knowing that you're going to apply the knowledge that is given to you in the program that will then improve your life. It's not like you're gonna buy something right now and it's gonna automatically start improving your life. If you buy a book right now, it's not gonna read itself and improve your life. That's not how it works. You have to do the work. So with that said, I appreciate you all for watching this video. Everything I just said in this video is extremely practical and applicable to your life that you can do right now if you're in a financial place to do it. And if not, you can at least apply half of these things that I just said. Let me know in the comments what you think slash what your one thing that you would like to invest in this year that you think would improve your life. And also tell me if I'm tripping or not for pushing and challenging you guys to have three months worth of paychecks in your savings at least by the end of this year. Anyway. That's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.